This is John Lamezny of beercritic.wordpress.com and tonight we are doing a uh, Twitter Taste Live for Wits and in this particular case we are doing Hogarden and then Blue Moon and then Amagong's Wit and then we have uh, Harpoon's UFO Hefeweizen. So, should be a very nice tasting, and I'm looking forward to seeing lots of friends on tonight. Tonight, we're starting with Hogarden, and it's just about 8 o'clock, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I've had this plenty of times um, inside of uh, local bars, because they often have, or had, Hogarden on tap, and uh, I'm a little surprised at how hard it is to find it these days. But, um... I think it's a pretty good offering for a uh, commonly available brew, and it's a nice go-to beer. It's something that, that at least I used to be able to find a lot that I always knew that I'd enjoy. Um, they always insisted on on uh, putting a piece of fruit on there. I wasn't too crazy about that, but anyway. I am using a Hefeweizen glass, my Magic Hat glass that I got for uh, my last Twitter Taste Live, uh, which I hosted. And I enjoyed that quite a bit. Let's listen to the crack. So this is a wheat beer. And um, typically it has a pale yellow body. Uh, often with sediment from the uh, wheat and very often crisp, citrusy. I think they're delicious, really good summer beer. So let's take a look at some of that color. Beautiful color. Um, this is not especially high ABV. I think it's actually less than 5% uh, ABV. So I expect that this will be a lighter tasting. You know, nothing like the dogfish head tasting that we did a while back. Um, but should be enjoyable nonetheless. Nice, thick, fluffy head. No. Let's taste. <laughs> Aroma is uh, cloves, spices, um, what you might expect from a Belgian. And um, Definitely some banana going on there. It's nice and um, it's almost room temperature. And so I'm really getting that aroma pretty nicely. Let's go ahead and taste. It's very light, refreshing, um, almost like a light lemonade or something. Um, some of those cloves and coriander come through. Uh, there is not a lot of sweetness. You might expect from the aroma that it would be very sweet. It's not there for me. Uh, very light. The carbonation is very light. Easily drinkable. Um, I imagine you could have a lot of fun with these really, you know, bright blazing cold on a nice hot summer day. Enjoyable. It's, as I said, something that's commonly available, or at least used to be, and so it's a good go-to beer for this style when you um, are faced with a lot of other macro brew. So, enjoy.